I'm in the heart of Nakhon Si Tamarata. I'm now moving down south towards Hat Yai. Uh, it's a bit of a long ride today, so I'm nearly set off. I'm uh, just going to get this one done. Not much on the horizon today, I don't think, but well, you never know, do you? We'll see. Maybe something will be interesting along the way. People are out nice and early for the stalls. Both sides of the road. It's about 7.45 now. Sorry, Gab. Hello. Hat uh, Yai. Oh well, that's the first rice field I've seen in two weeks. Been on these kind of dirt tracks for a lot of the day. Uh, say for more than half of it really. That's probably how it's going to be. I'm cutting across country. Uh, the roads aren't going to be very good, but yeah, never mind. Surface is so bad now, I'm having to walk. I think if I ride on this, I'm liable to get a puncture. This is terrible, it's so slow. Nothing I can do, just have to walk. This is a close-up of the road. And the problem is there's just too many sharp stones that are liable to cause problems in the sidewalls of my 40mm road tyres. Pretty tired now, I've been walking for an hour. It's just relentless. It really is. Can't believe it, I'm off that crap. That's took me an hour more. That was bloody awful. I just can't believe how bad that road was. Shocking. Move the eyes off. The road remained poor in places. One second lapse of concentration led to this. Somewhere along the worst road in the world I had a change of heart. I've changed my plans. I'm not going to go towards the coast. I'm going to head straight for Telenoi. Um, I just didn't want to hack back across all the uh, crappy roads. So it adds another 40, 50 k's onto the day. But at least uh, I don't have to contend with those horrible roads and I get somewhere really nice to stay tonight. I'm now in Songkla, but I'll try not to get too excited because I'm only going to be here for about 10 kilometres. I have made it to the deep south, but very soon I'll be in Patalung as I go between Talai Noi and the Big Lake in the south. Uh, from there I'm going to hug the west side of the lake all the way to Hat Yai and then I'll be back in Songkla again. That's all for now, I'll speak to you shortly, probably when I'm by the lake, maybe even with a beer in my hand. That was a short visit into Songkla, and now we're into Patalung. Behind these rice fields in the foreground is a large lake that stretches about 80 kilometres all the way down towards Hat Yai. Unfortunately, you don't get a very good view here. I've seen some poor places, but I can't imagine anyone lives in there or ever lived in there full time. Maybe just a shelter. Well, they're fishing, I don't know. They look abandoned.
This is great. I'm now on an elevated highway. Ah, this is awesome. Okay, birders, aren't they ducks? I'm not going to stop at any more of these signs. There looks like there's going to be hundreds of them, but clearly you get a lot of birds here. Loads of wading birds out, not surprisingly. I've no idea what they are. Look at these fellas enjoying themselves. See the water buffalo. Having a good wash. Some over there as well. Gonna move? Gonna move? Hello? Hello? Ah. How's your day? You had a good day? What have you been doing? Nothing? No? Enjoying your swim? I'll see you later. Catch up for a beer. This is the narrowest point between the two lakes. We're now looking at Talainoi, which is a small lake to the north. Spin round. And this is the one to the south, the larger lake, running all the way towards Hatyai. We're near the end of today's ride, so thanks for coming along. Enjoy your bikes, enjoy your rides, and I'll see you in the next video.